what's up youtube welcome to my channel and as you can tell by the title there's some tea and um i need to put you guys on so yeah i'm here to talk about and the dolls vote i'm gonna just get straight into the video so this um this particular incident wasn't recent this particular incident was 2019 november and it is currently 2020 November. So back in 2019 November, there was a Black Friday sale going on. And prior to, I was watching Anna Doll Volt's vlogs. Like I was watching a little entrepreneur vlogs. I thought it was cool. So I was like, okay. I decided to order from her. I ordered two sweatsuits. I ordered um, a honey ginger one and a cherry doll one. So I ordered that November 29th. I ordered it. Everything went smoothly. December 4th come. I get my package. But it's only one package. So I'm like. Where's the other one? So that same day. I didn't write her. Because like I got my package late or whatever. In the day. So I didn't write her. I had other things to do. The very next day I wrote her. And I wrote her a a message I'm gonna post the message here but basically I wrote her saying hey you know this is so-and-so I ordered a package November 29th and um, I received the package December 4th however I never got um I, I ordered one sweatsuit and I didn't get the other I got the honey ginger sweatsuit but I never got the cherry doll sweatsuit at all so I'm like okay all right, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just leave it alone. I wasn't really beefing about it because around November, December, um, it's like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas is coming, and then New Year's is coming. There's like a whole lot of things going on around the time. So I'm not thinking or stressing about, you know, packages. I know that the package, I spent my money on the package. A package has to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about it coming exactly on time because I wasn't rushing. You know what I'm saying? So, she don't ever write back to me when I write her on December 5th. So, I write her again December 10th and I write her again December 11th. Now, when I wrote these, mess write her, wrote these messages, I wrote her the same exact thing on my next cricket. I keep fixing it. When I wrote her, I wrote her the same exact message. Like, I would literally copy and then paste the message. I might, like, tweak, like, the dates because, you know, now I'm not writing you on the 5th. I'm writing you on the 10th. Or now I'm not writing you the 10th. I'm writing you the 11th. But nonetheless, I was still writing, like, the same. The, the message was copied and pasted. She didn't get back to me. So I'm like, okay. After I wrote the message, I would just write, write it. And then I, that was it. Like, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't write, you know. I wouldn't like go check on it the same day or anything like I wasn't rushing so time went by time went by and then now time is ticking because now it's like December 29th now if you see me looking over I'm just making sure I check my notes so everything's time stamped right so y'all could y'all could be with me when I tell you what's going on so December 29th comes and I'm like you know what it's about to be a whole new year and I still didn't get my package. I need to see like what's going on. Like what's what's really good. So I go and um I go and I I'm on YouTube, you know, because I wasn't really thinking about the package. Like I said, it's gonna have to come, right? So I'm on YouTube on my cell phone and I'm like her, she her you know like on YouTube there's like a feed and she has two different things going on on it so she has one with like a promo like you pay her for promotion like she'll promote you something if you pay her then there was another one like models like if you want to model you know serious inquiries only and she had her email and it was like posted up on the uh, feed so I was like, okay, so the promo one, I wrote the same message that I wrote in the email and the promo. And I wrote it. I checked back later. The whole entire thing was gone. Like, the whole entire uh, promo, like, flyer thing she posted is gone. So I'm like, no, she didn't. She ain't do that. No, no, she didn't. Like, no, she didn't do that. 
No, she didn't. Now, when I was when I wrote when I copied and pasted the message when she had posted it, it was only a few hours ago. That's why I posted on that particular one. Then I posted on the second one, which was the models one. That one stayed up. She didn't delete that one, but she never got back to me. So I'm like, okay. All right, so something not right, something not right, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't really think nothing of her because, look, in the comments, she got a lot of views, right? She got decent views. In the comments, I didn't really hear nobody saying anything bad about her. So I was like, okay, maybe this is good. When I look her up, the first thing, I don't see, like, anything bad about her when I type in her, um, her name. I wasn't typing her name, like, is she exposed or anything? But when I type up her videos, like, if I type in her name, only her stuff come up. No other related videos came up. So I figured, you know, everything was cool. You know what I'm saying? So December 30th comes. And... I email her and I'm basically saying look at this point I'm about to take legal actions because you playing with me and when I emailed her I didn't email her on just her little customer service and adult customer service thinky she had I emailed her on the same email that she told people to write her about her modeling thingy and I also emailed her on her regular email that she has plastered on her um her website so I emailed her all three of them and I wrote her, look, I'm about to take legal actions because you, you, you know, I wrote you several times and you not responded. You know what I'm saying? So I wrote her that. Then I started to post messages on her videos, on her YouTube videos. So I noticed that, like, you know, she had recent videos. So the most popular ones and all the ones that talked about entrepreneurship. I post and copy and paste the same exact messages that I was posting on her thing. I wasn't writing new stuff, guys. I was posting the same stuff so she could understand, like, look, this is legit. Somebody's really writing you about their product. I don't know what you got going on, but look, I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote on all of them. She never got back to me. She never wrote none of them. She never said, hey, you know what? Let me find out who this person is. You know what? Let me go check my emails because this person keeps writing me. It got to be real. No, nothing ever happened. So time went by and I was waiting for her to write me. Now, when I email her or when I, when I do anything that involves me typing on YouTube, it's never on my phone. It's always on my laptop. But when I like watch videos and stuff, most of the time it is on my phone. So I went on my phone. And um, she's still in my feed on my phone because I watch on my phone, but I'm not logged in on my phone. Something said, you know, oh, she pops up on my feed. I'm going to go click to see if anybody wrote. She didn't write to my comment. So let me see if anybody else wrote on my comment. So I go, I click on, I click on it on her video, pause the video, and then I start reading the comments. My comment that I wrote on all the videos is not on the video. So it looks like... I so so basically this is what it is I don't know how YouTube goes about blocking people or filtering messages like I don't know but basically when I log into my actual YouTube page and I go to her videos I can see my message there it tells me three hours ago a day ago I can see it however when I'm not logged in and I'm on regular YouTube not signed in at all you cannot see my my comment that I made at all on none of her videos. So that's how it was set up. So I'm just like, okay. So somehow she either filtered me or blocked me where I could see that I wrote her. And it looked like I wrote her and she just didn't respond. But outside of my profile, it looks like I never ever wrote her at all. So I'm like, she did something. She did something to my... um. To, to, to the YouTube. I don't know what she did. So now at this point, you playing me. You tried it. You know what I'm saying? You played me. You tried it. So I ain't feeling shorty at all at this point. You know what I'm saying? I had it all the way up to here and I'm done with her. You understand what I'm saying? I need to get my stuff and leave because and leave shorty alone because at this point, she playing me, you know what I'm saying? You see that I'm writing you. You see that I'm writing you. And you making sure you go through measures to dub me. You deleted the posters on that. I, um, under, your, under your YouTube, you deleted the... Um, 
one of the posts then you filter out where I where it looked like I wrote it but nobody else could see it but me on your video and on your little um little promotion thing you had going for the little models you not responded to none of my emails and I wrote her on three different emails guys so now I'm like okay okay so she playing me but you know I just feel like you know I'm not gonna even though I don't like how you act it, I'm gonna always maintain how I my how I'm um talk to you or maintain my integrity because I want to get the message across. And I feel like if I automatically start texting her, emailing her, writing her with an attitude, I can't really get the message across being disrespectful. All the person's gonna see and read this. I have an attitude. I have an attitude. They're not gonna understand. Like, look, you technically do give, need to give me my money back they're not gonna see that they're gonna automatically start thinking oh well you gave me attitude and try to justify your at me having an attitude which i have the right as to the reason why they not doing what they're supposed to do on their end so i didn't want to give no attitude so i didn't give no attitude and i'm showing y'all the messages so you can see that the messages was literally like recycled messages it was nothing new nothing so then moving forward so then after the messages situation or whatever and i emailed her she never got back to me i started to um i told her like you know i'm gonna take at legal actions on you because you're not you know getting back to me so that's when i found out you know like i told you guys i was blocked on youtube so in the middle of me like looking up like how i'm gonna take legal actions on this girl I go on her website and know that she got an Instagram. She got two Instagrams. She got a business Instagram and a regular Instagram. Being that this is about business, I'm just going to go to her business Instagram. Even though I had it up to here. And she tried it. So I go to her business page. And on all her pictures, I write the same message that I was putting on YouTube. Same, same copy and paste. Especially the pictures that got them, them, them views them thousands of views so i posted the same thing i posted the same thing and then she writes me i'm gonna post it right here she basically says who are you what do you want so i'm like um i'm a customer and you know I ordered so-and-so from you on so-and-so day. You never got back to me. I've been trying to get in contact with you. So she, me and her write each other back and forth basically that same day. And um, when I when I ordered my, um, my sweatsuits, I ordered a medium. I didn't know what size to get because the way her site is set up, it's like not nobody reviewed her sweatsuits for me to see what size I was. So I just got a medium. The medium I got in the one sweatsuit, it did not fit. So I told her, like, look, you know, being that you're going to send me another sweatsuit, just up it and give me a, a, a extra large because, you know, the other one you gave me didn't fit anyway. So she's like, okay, that's fine. That's cool. So I'm like, all right, bet. So this is on December 30th. Time goes by, time goes by. And now it is January 13th and I still don't have no no package. I don't have no tracking number. I don't have nothing So I wrote him was like hey, you know, you never gave me no tracking number information was going on She reads it don't respond. So I'm like, um, okay Then the next day I write her January 14th. Hello question mark. She don't write back. So I'm like, okay so then I click on her profile and now it says she has this many followers this many posts there's many people she following, but she has no pictures at all. So how would say you got 40, 40 posts, but when I click on it, there's no post. So she did the same thing she did on YouTube where it's like I'm following her on, on her page or whatever, but I can't see none of her pictures at all. Like, I can't see none of them. So any picture that I've ever commented on, which was probably all of them at this point. I basically, I can't see any of her pictures. You know what I'm saying? I could go on there, click on it. I could see stuff. It's not like she deactivated it. She basically, like, blocked me. So I'm like, oh, she blocked me. So then January 16th come. I send her email. And I text her, like, hey, you didn't give me a check-in number. 
and days went by and what's going on with the info. That's what I um I write. And I'm gonna post it here again, the information so you can see. Like I was very proactive, you understand what I'm saying? Very proactive. And I made sure that I was doing this very proactive when I realized like she playing, you know what I'm saying? She trying to like slide through the cracks. So I was like, alright. She didn't get back to me. So then on the January 16th, I finally actually January 16th, I got like an email and a tracking number. I wrote her that day, but I also got an a, a email. The email was basically a link to a tracking number, and I got a text from a number. And the number was basically, when you, the text was basically, you could click on it and you could see it. So I was checking it, checking it for like three days, four days. And then I noticed that it just basically said that the person made the label, but it didn't say that they put the put the label out and I know for a fact that Anna Doll and I both live in New York City you understand it's not like she lives in a different state we both are in New York City you know what I'm saying within the five boroughs so it says she made the printing label but she never actually shipped it off to the post office so I don't have no information so I'm checking and checking every day about this and I can't find it. So now I'm frustrated. I'm pissed off. I'm like, okay, here she go again. She sent me the track information to hold me down from bothering her. And I still don't got my package. And she blocked me. So the January 19th, lo and behold, I finally get the package, guys. And it was what I um wanted. It was the cherry doll sweatsuit. Or whatever it came and um I looked at it I tried it on the extra large fit me better than the medium way better than the medium but now I don't have nothing to do with now I don't know what to do with the merchandise so here's what I'm gonna say Would I order from Shorty again? No, not now, not ever in a million years. It's one thing when you know you mess up, but it's how you fix it, you know what I'm saying? And I, if I wasn't bothering that girl, I shouldn't have to bother you about something that you owe me. And if I wasn't bothering her and bothering her every single day, um, um, constantly emailing her, constantly writing on her social medias, I would have never gotten my package. Never. You understand? I ordered this in November. I didn't get my package till January 19th, 2020. You understand what I'm saying? That's a problem. You know what I mean? Because who wants to do all of that? Who wants to seem like they hassling and hounding somebody? You understand what I'm saying? And so, me personally, I wouldn't order no more because the customer service is trash. If customer service trash, nothing after that matters. You know what I mean? The sweatsuits, they were like good quality, like they like a thick sweatsuit. They not like thin sweatsuits. They more like a like a thick so thick thicker type of sweatsuit and they have good quality. And I'm going to do a separate video basically um doing a review on the actual clothes, but when I'm done doing a review, I don't have no place to put the clothes because I'm not walking outside wearing no and the dog merch when she done blocked me, when she done gave me a hard time, when she made it seem like that was a problem. And when she blocked me and I was waiting all them days before the tracking information came in, I went to her regular, her regular page and I was already blocked on her regular page where I can't even find her on her regular on her personal page because she knew what she did was wrong because originally I never even looked at her regular page because it was business so I kept it on her business page but she took the that the initiative to make sure that she blocked me on her regular um her regular Instagram so that way I won't have no way to contact her you know besides the emails that I was doing so I personally would not order from them again order from her again I'm not saying you can't order from her. You could take the chance if you want to. If you really like, oh, I like the sweatsuit. You want to take the chance to say, hey, maybe it won't be me. You do that. But in the mix of me doing my research and, you know, doing all of these texting, I mean, emailing, I started to notice something, you know, that 
the views she was getting on YouTube wasn't matching the comments. She was getting 19 views and it'll say she got these many comments, but a lot of the comments you can't see. And you should watch out for that. Same thing with the pictures on her Instagram. She got a thousand likes on an Instagram picture of a model wearing the outfit of her wearing these sweatsuits. And there's not a lot of comments to match the likes. If there's a thousand comments, how's there only 20 likes or 10 likes? Or well, I mean 10 comments. And you got thousands of um, likes on the picture. I started to notice that those things are not adding up because I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how Instagram and um, YouTube work, but you can filter out certain things. So the numbers are still there, but what you see is still limited. And that's what she did with YouTube and that's what she did with Instagram. So you need to be careful of that because I didn't think of that. And I noticed that she makes sure that she does a great deal of making sure that nobody sees um, any negative comments. Because one time I was watching a video and I saw a comment, someone said, oh, you owe me hair or something like that. And I saw the comment there and I was like, huh, hair? Like, Anna doesn't sell hair, right? But then when I refreshed it, the comment looked like it disappeared. Like, I couldn't find it at all. I wish I would have screenshotted it, but I couldn't find it at all. So you got to be aware of that. You know, I didn't really think to look her up on YouTube to see if she was scamming anybody. But that's what happened to me. What I also noticed is that there, as of today, I was on YouTube, and there's a, a person on YouTube that is um, basically reviewing her merchandise, and her comments are turned off. Be aware of that. Why are you reviewing someone's merchandise, and um, your comments are off? You know what I'm saying? When you're reviewing something, comments are important. You know what I'm saying? Take, 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 um... Amazon, for example, eBay, for example, Fenty Beauty, for example, Fashion Nova, for example. Comments are important, you understand? Even when you go on Anna Doll's website, it would be very easy, easy, it would be easier to know what size you are if you had people commenting on what they brought. So they could know, okay, I'm a medium or I'm a large based off the comments. Comments and customers' reviews is important. How are you going to do a review on someone's stuff and then make sure the comments is off so that nobody could comment? Because something in that comments is telling. You understand? And they don't want you to see it. And they don't want you to possibly see it when they're not around. So that's why it's off. So be aware of that too. That's one thing I noticed. Now, I'm going to do a video separately, basically, you know, showing like, you know, the quality and actually talking about the merchandise and not like, the situation that happened but this is what happened and this is what it is and this is reality you know and I think that people need to notice it took me a while to make this video but I hope this helps you make a decision I hope this was informational this wasn't a bashing video this was to let you guys know my experience and you get to choose how you move forward anyway see you in my next video Bye.